G'day! In today's video, I'm doing a bit of a teardown on an older Aspira mo mobile phone. This one here, it's very hard for the customer to hear on the EP speaker, but mainly on the loudspeaker. So we'll be covering on what to actually do in this instance. So to begin with, open it up, take out the battery, which is sometimes trickier than it really needs to be. There we go. So we're an Aspira F28. So what we're gonna need with that is to use a small Phillips head screw to take out the various screws that are in the bottom. One. Two. Now highly likely all these screws are gonna be the same length. Three. And so far, they are. So I can already tell, just by looking at the bottom speaker here, the condition of it. So there's a fair bit of dirt and dust that we're gonna find there. Especially like looking around the buttons here and everything like that. It's just dust. Go. And I'll use the flat pry tool to take that back cover off. There we go. And we'll move the buttons out of the way. There's also one hidden screw over here. It does look like the keyboard comes off rather than the back. Oh, buttons escaping there. Go and sometimes it is hidden screws under the stickers. Not really feeling any there. Uh, there we go. With a little bit of force, that back should come off. So no extra screws there. One SOS button. Now we're getting closer to where I want to work on. We've got there a little antenna cable. Microphone moving out of the way. Bingo. So we've got an antenna cable here, antenna cable, microphone, loudspeaker. Disappointingly, can't get to the back of that speaker, but nor, nor also opening it really got me anywhere at all. Let me take off the grill here. And it looks like a relatively sealed unit. There wasn't much I could do down here. I was hoping there was more. The speaker was either A, completely covered in dirt and dust, or a lot more accessible. Turns out it was neither. So let's reset it back to where it goes. 
Move the microphone back. There, there, there. Put the SOS button back where it lives. There we go. And we're going to need to flip this over. Buttons back in. This way, this way. And that way, I believe. Let's click it all together. There's left to be a tab there. Not quite right. Anyway, so sadly, opening this up to get to that loudspeaker doesn't really get you anywhere. Next thing to look at with it though is this part here. Each little hole that's blocked means you're going to get slightly worse audio through it. Try and get some light under there. And I'm just curious if it just simply needs a clean. So if I look under there, you can see how that one third of it's clogged up. Let's see if we can poke it out. No. I'm definitely clearing this. It will improve the audio quality. Try a smaller pusher. Nope, no good. What else have I got? There's some very tiny tweezers. There we go. As you can see, there's considerably more holes to it. So hopefully just simply even just doing that may improve the audio volume of the loudspeaker. Now, I'm not going to be putting those Phillips head screws back in just right now. Just because putting them back in is very straightforward. Uh, let's skip up to here. What I want to do is separate the display. Like so. Separate the display and see if I can get to the earpiece speaker. I'm pretty sure underneath here there'd be probably a couple of screws. So what I'm going to do is hold this forward. There's a pair of tweezers to get out the earpiece speaker. Which the speaker itself looks to be nice and clean. I don't really see any issues with that. And now I'll do what I did before. Shine some light through there and see how much comes through. Sadly, seems to be quite a bit. So I think in this instance, there's really not much I'm going to be able to do to get the audio improved on this phone. But I will sit there and push out the rest of the pins on this. And get the earpiece speaker back in. Yes. Pinch it. So I'm gonna reassemble this phone. Find where I've lost the home button to. There we go, volume up, volume down. And see how we go from there. Anyway, hopefully this helps you finding some possible audio issues with your Aspira F28 flip phone. I'm just gonna keep working on this for a little bit longer and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.